and all of the angels and This could take all night I think I need the devil to help me get things right Hook me up a new revolution Cause this one is a lie Sat around laughing and watched the last world die to the sky to save me Now I'm looking for a sign of life Looking for something to help me burn out right I'm looking for a complication Looking cause I'm tired of trying Hey, what's up YouTubers? Lee John Blackmore here at Super Easy Guitar. This week we're doing Learn to Fly by the Foo Fighters. Before I get into it guys, I just want to say thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for your subscriptions and all your lovely emails you send me. Keep those requests coming in. Now let's zoom in and get straight into it. Okay guys, so this is standard tuning and I've taken this from Dave Grohl on a rooftop somewhere on an acoustic guitar okay so it's exactly the same version to how Dave Grohl plays it so there's a few nice easy chords okay the first one is B5 okay it looks like a power chord but we can't instead of playing it flat we're playing it with like this arched grip so the strings underneath can ring so that's first finger second fret on the fifth string which is A the A string rather and the third finger is going to be in the fourth fret on the D string, the fourth string, okay? And then the pinky is going to be underneath it, also in the fourth fret on the G string. And you want the A, D, G, and the B string to ring out. Okay, so that's the fifth, fourth, third, and second string. Doesn't matter if you hit that top E as well. Okay, then for the second one, people are calling this F sharp minor. Um, yeah, so I guess, you know, you could call it an F sharp minor. But it's got, you know, it's kind of got a, a B in there, an open B, so it's like you could count it up. You could count it up to 11. So, all, all we're doing there, from the first chord, we're moving the third finger and the pinky just over a string. Okay, so we've got our B5, our first chord. Okay, that could be down, down, up, up, down, up. If you want to go straight into the rhythm, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. So the B5, move the third and pinky over so they're now sat in the same fret on the 5th and 4th string, the A and the D string. And my first finger is going to hop over onto the G string, the 3rd string. But also, I want that B string to ring out, okay, the 2nd string. And the top E sounds nice as well. And again, same rhythm, down, down, up, up, down, up. So from the top, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Now I leave my first finger on and slide it down one fret, okay? So it doesn't come off the fret at all, it just goes down one. And my second finger is in the second fret on the fifth string, my third finger second fret on the fourth string. And now we play an E chord. Same rhythm, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. So slowly, the second time round, I see him doing, I see him do this little cheeky A sus2. I think that's what he's doing, okay? So all I'm doing there is playing the E. 
lifting up the second and third finger, putting them onto the two middle strings, the D and the G, just doing a quick down and then going back to E. So it sounds down, down, up, up, A sus2. So the chorus is exactly the same as the verse, okay? Except, you know, it's played a little bit heavier. So it's going to be, I'm looking to the sky to save me. I'm looking for a sign of life. Okay, so same chorus, B, we'll call that F sharp, and then E. But then at the end of the chorus, Make my way back home when I learn to it. Fly or whatever, right? So it's just G, A, B. Make my way back home and I'll fly high. Then it'll go straight back into that verse section, okay? So after the second verse, there's another chorus, and that's the same again. And at the end, when he plays that change, make my way G back home when I learn to E. And it goes again, G, A, this time, fly, it goes back to B. And we're into a, the bridge section. So if I can remember it, the bridge is fly along with me, I can't quite make it alone. Try to make this life my own. So B fly along with me. I can't quite make it alone. Try to make this life my own. Look into the sky to save me. And it goes straight back in, okay? So they have pretty much all the parts together, okay? So it's just going to go verse chorus like that. Except the end, he kind of hangs out on this B. Okay. So all I'm doing is holding on this same like B chord that we've been doing, the B5, except now I'm barring it down. So it kind of becomes a B sus2. Okay, and then I'm just like random picking it. Da 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 da. He just holds on that. Then a strum at the end. Lift the third and fourth off and just bring them over so they land on the G and the B. Okay, and then take the pinky away. And you've got that ending. When he's playing the acoustic live, he kind of just goes. So he just does a B. Then this kind of D chord. Uh, sorry, it's, it's, it's going to be a D flat. And then A. And finishes it on an E. So there you have it guys, hope you enjoyed this week's lesson. Don't forget if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button and don't forget the bell button because I do these lessons every single week. Don't forget as well, you can find me on Instagram and Facebook and follow me if you must and keep those requests coming in and I'll see you again the same time next week, enjoy.